With freezing temperatures always a possibility, the Water Conservation Manager has some tips to help you make sure your home's pipes don't freeze and burst. Take a look. So one of the most important things for a homeowner to know heading into the winter months is to know where their water meter is. Water meter here on this property is right here on the corner of the driveway. If you open it up with a screwdriver, good set of gloves because you never know what kind of critters might be inside of here. Now it's always a good idea to have some sort of insulation material inside your meter box. This keeps everything thawed out, keeps it from freezing. But come in here, take a look, make sure there are no leaks, make sure that the insulation is looking good in there. And then always make sure you have a blue stake or something around your water meter to indicate its location just in case you need to get out here or you need to have the City of Bend utilities come out and shut this off during an emergency. If you haven't winterized your irrigation system, now's the time to do so. This irrigation system has a backflow that's located right in here, way down in there. The backflow needs to be turned off, and this is where the air compressor fitting will hook up and a certified landscape contractor will come and blow the irrigation system out, getting it ready for winter. When they're all said and done, I'll get more insulation down there to keep things nice and thawed out this winter. One of the reasons we blow out irrigation systems and make sure that all that water is out of the system is to make sure that, um, make sure that these things are protected all winter long. A sprinkler like this that has a little bit of water in it in a cold temperature will absolutely freeze and split along the side during the winter leading to big leaks come spring. Next thing you want to do is make sure that any outdoor faucets or water spigots are protected. Go ahead and get rid of the hose here for the year. Blow that out or empty that out and put it away. Then get, a, get yourself a uh, foam spigot cover like this one. Goes on the end just like that. Push it up nice and tight against the, against the siding and pull on it and there you go, it's ready for winter. So home's crawl space is one of those places where you often get drafts, uh, cold air will often make its way in there and uh, could potentially freeze your pipes. One of the ways to protect your, protect your pipes and to keep your home uh, efficient during the winter months is to plug this crawl space with some of these foam inserts here. Now these are pretty typical, you can get them at most uh, home improvement or hardware stores. Let's get them in there. Keep those drafts out. It's just one more thing you can do to winterize your home and help protect yourself from frozen pipes. If you don't find any crawl space vents that fit exactly into your opening, uh, you may need to make some of your own. Uh, this is just a piece of standard insulation that I got from a big box store. Able to cut it to size and put it in here nice and snug, getting a good custom fit, keeping all the drafts out of there this winter. For more information on how to winterize your home, check out our website at bendoregon.gov forward slash utilities.